If somebody wants to be your friend, but they don't know sign language, what should they do? Like I could teach them how to sign or I can use paper or my phone and I'd text. Um, I usually like to write on paper or I like to teach them sign language. Um, writing back and forth, a lot on my phone too. Does it make you happy when people try to learn? Yes. Why? Because, like people, if they really want to, you know, be happy, they can learn sign language, and they can learn how to communicate with me a lot easier through sign language. Peyton, tell me about your mom. My mom's nice and funny, and she makes me laugh. And also, sometimes she bothers me, you know, if she tells me I have to clean up things or pick up stuff things my mom does that annoys me she taps on my shoulder and tells me to do things to clean up she gets mad at me if I'm on my phone for no reason she always is like watching me if I have an attitude my mom always tells me to put my things upstairs and I told her I need to use my things for a little while short time and she's like no you need to keep your things upstairs how would you describe your relationship with Bella? Um, we're always learning, you know, together. She helps teach me all these dances. Um, she talks about things, you know, about her school and her friends. And I like to learn about things. Um, she's always showing me, like, videos or dances, cool things. And she's always, always... You know, being, we kind of pick on each other a little bit sassy sometimes, but we play together. Bella, what's it like to have Peyton as a sister? Like, we get to go, like, theme parks and we skip the line, so we have a lot more things that we can do than other people. Yeah. What's it like to skip the lines, Peyton? It gets me excited. I feel lucky. Does having a sister like Peyton make you a better football player? Um, kind of. How? Because I could take out some of the anger I have on the field. What type of anger do you have because um, of your sister? Well, sometimes she's annoying. She is probably the most sassy, but we do back and forth. She's even sassier than you? No, no, no. I am definitely more. I am the top of the family with the sass. Very sassy. Almost every day I'm sassy. Always. Definitely the top in the family. Do you want to be the sassiest in the family? Yes. It's my favorite. Why is Kenzie starting to look taller than me? Before we're like this. I'm laughing because my feet are on the ground and hers aren't. My feet can touch the floor, but hers don't. Does Peyton ever tease you? Yes, yeah, so all the time. What does she say? <laughs> Like, she tells me, do I want something, and then she just, like, takes it to herself. I'll tell her, I'm like, yeah, do you want this? I'm like, nope, it's mine, and I'll eat it, or something like that. Do you think it's funny when you tease your sister? <laughs> yes. Because sometimes she gets mad, and then I get really sassy, and then it makes her even more mad. And then I continue to kind of irritate her sometimes. Do you think it's funny when she teases you? No. <laughs> Very annoying. He doesn't like when I pick on him and I bang on his door. Or, like, if I always that. He tells me to stop. So you'll do your voice just to annoy him? Mm. 
This voice. Hold on, I gotta remember which one. How you feel right now, Brock? Annoyed. <laughs> yep, that one. Sometimes I do it right back to her, what she does to me. No, no, it's not sometimes, it's always. You said, you know, oh, you're being weird, or like, Kenzie says, you know, like sassy attitude. Loser, like this. She does that a lot of me. And that makes me irritated. Did you ever do it back to her? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Always, she said. You do it more. You do it more than I do it on you. She said that you do it the most. We learned when she was around two that she was deaf and then we moved to um, Georgia and lived in like a deaf community, um, had a lot of deaf neighbors. I think most of, not all of our neighbors that we actually knew were all deaf. So we kind of just had to learn sink or swim. Very frustrating at first. It took about a year, year and a half to become fluent enough to not be frustrated. <laughs> and then... Um, it just kept on improving since then. Why was it important for you to do that? I've always wanted to make sure we have full communication. I want her to be able to communicate with me the same as her siblings. Um, if she has a worry or a concern or if she gets upset or she has she's happy and she wants to tell me about her day, I want her to be able to tell me that in her own language and not through text messaging or writing. I want her to feel comfortable. I heard that you learned sign language so you could communicate with your sister. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, I don't really like remember learning sign language because I went to a school that was like all deaf and I had to learn it or else I couldn't like pass classes or like talk with anybody. So I kind of just learned it and I just, just know it, I guess. I don't remember learning anything. So you learned it when you were really young? Yeah, and I think I was like four. Do you and your sister mostly communicate with sign language? Yeah. Peyton, are you shocked? Why are you shocked? Because I thought he was like six or seven when he went to the deaf school. I didn't remember he was four or five, so that kind of shocked me. I didn't know that. How old are you? I'm 14. What is it like being 14? Mm, I feel like a teenager. I have to chill and sometimes like I get a little sassy or a little grumpy. Does anybody ever judge your sister? Yeah, a lot of people. How do you know that? It's just by the way of their facial expressions when they see her. She said, yeah, sometimes people make that face on me and then I have to look at them like this. And I'm like, what? What? You can turn around now. Always. Have you seen her do that? Yeah, she does it a lot. Some people in my, in my class tell, tell me that my sister looks weird and I just tell her that's, that's her own personality and that's who she is. Yeah. Sometimes if like people say I look strange or somebody says something, I said, uh, I don't thank you. That's just your opinion. What's it like for you when you see people maybe staring or picking at Peyton? Um, it makes me upset. Um, it's kind of sad to say that, like, we've gotten used to it, but, like, it's, unless it affects her or bothers her, it's easy for me to ignore. Pro and a con, you know, about being deaf is she doesn't get to hear all the things behind her. Um, so she might not hear what they're saying, and, um, she's very vigilant, though, so she catches... A, the expressions of others a lot easier than even than I can. Sometimes it makes me laugh when I do like this. When I say turn around. Sometimes I get upset, but not really. Sometimes like I'm more, I like to be more sassy with it. Is there anything? If they look at me, I'll look back at them like this. 
and then I'll go away. <laughs> or if people, you know, are just staring at me, I kind of do like a slow look like this. And then look away, and then make me look back. If they notice me, turn around, look at them, then I do that. She was explaining an instance where they're at church and two girls kept staring at me. And I said, turn around, turn around. Here's a screen where you can see yourself. When you see yourself, what do you think? Like I look different, you know, sometimes. And my hair looks different. I like looking different. It makes me feel like I'm safe around my brother because I know he can protect me. Because he doesn't like people picking on me. And also sometimes I make him mad. And then when I make him mad, that makes me laugh. <laughs> How do you feel when she makes you mad and then laughs at it? I just walk away. If somebody wants to be your friend, what should they do first? Try to talk to me or communicate with me. And then, you know, after the communication gets better and better, we can start to become friends. When we first met five years ago, I asked you if you had one wish, what would it be? And you said you wanted a heart-shaped flower for your friend to give them as a gift. Mm-hmm. I remember. If you found a genie, what would you wish for? If you had one wish today, what would it be? I would really like to improve like my family, like and I wish my dog would would get better. Like come my my family and my dog. Is your dog sick? No no no. I want the dog to be improve bad his behavior. He's really crazy. I want him to calm down a little bit. If he would just calm down. I want a calmer dog. You're telling me your dog doesn't listen to you? Sometimes, well, most of the time he, like, he'll listen to my mom or my dad, but not me. What do you think when the dog doesn't listen? I get really mad, and I almost want to choke him. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. and when I am home, I rest. You know, I go outside play with my dogs. I watch them. And like yesterday, one of my dogs escaped, and I told the dog, I'm like, you can't, you have to stay inside. And the dog ran out front, out in the front yard. And I had to run and tell him to come inside. And then he ran inside the house, and I'm like, Ugh. So I watch him, you know, when he's outside, so make sure he doesn't escape. Do you communicate with your dogs using sign language? Sometimes. Do they understand it? Nope. <laughs> well, hold on. Sometimes they know sit. I think that's it. What is Peyton's diagnosis? Uh, well, since her last interview, we've actually added on a lot. So she's got her, um, it's called hypertelorism microtia clefting syndrome. Um, she is the only one in the United States with her syndrome. There's six others in the world somewhere. Uh, I'm not really sure where they are. We don't really know anybody with her syndrome. And then she has um, neurocardiogenic syncope. She has um, uh, anhydrosis. Her body doesn't sweat. The syncope is she kind of, um, her brain doesn't know how to respond when she gets either hurt or upset or cries and she stops breathing. Um, she's got... Uh, growth hormone deficiency, all of her, her um, pituitary gland, all the hormones that 
that's supposed to control and, and regulate is all it doesn't function so she's got um, the patch that she wears to start puberty she's got um, growth hormones to grow she's got adrenal insufficiency so she um, her body body goes through um, adrenal crisis and she basically to stops moving she it makes her just have to lay down so if she has a rough weekend or a long weekend or does anything that's out of the ordinary for us even just going to the beach for the day um it wears her body out and she lays around for two days or three days at a time because all her energy is going to sustain her vital organs um and then she has um ectodermal dysplasia with immunodeficiency disorder so she now has she takes a uh, autoimmune suppressant daily to suppress her immune system Peyton what is it like to have to deal with all of this sometimes I get weak <clears throat> or I feel like I'm gonna pass out I get like really hungry sometimes and then I get really, really tired a lot. I get dizzy a lot, too. What's the best thing about using sign language? Um, sometimes people don't know what I'm talking about. And I can, like, uh, talk about things. And it's almost like a secret talk, like a secret conversation. And people have no idea what I'm talking about. And sometimes if I could tell a story, like, I think I was like, third or fourth grade something like that and Peyton was talking to me, my friend Peyton we were you know talking about staying overnight and we put our hands down like well, no we weren't talking and then my teacher came over and she's like were y'all talking and then my teacher Mrs. Gilbert she looked at us and we put our hands down like we weren't doing anything so she didn't even know so that's happened before I remember that's really funny did you laugh when that happened yes I had to act like this, though, because my friend Peyton almost laughed. I told her, don't laugh. Shh. I had to hold in my laugh. What do you think is the scariest thing in the whole entire world? Like loud sounds and people that are mean. If I look at the person, if they have like a scary face and they look at me, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> that, not that kind. <laughs> you said you think loud sounds are scary. Can you hear loud sounds? I can feel it. I feel the rumbling and it scares me. What do you think when that happens? It gets me mad and I want to scream because it scares me. And my brother, he likes to make loud sounds on me, like at me, and it makes me scream. And I'll stomp or like he'll bang on things and it makes me um, mad. I have to come down here and calm down. If they don't ever prank me, I think I'd be a little bit maybe calmer and not pick on them so much. He said, nope, that's a lie. What? How did I lie? What kind of lie? And you would still pick. Well, only if you stop picking on me, you know, if you only did a few times, the three of us, you know, pick on me back. He said, well, I, I didn't lie. What kind of pranks do you play on your mom? Sometimes I'll act like I'm having like a seizure or sometimes I'll fake blood or sometimes I'll pretend like I'm sick sometimes. Those are quite extreme pranks. One time I acted like I was drowning. If you could teach the whole world a few signs, which one would you pick? Friend and... Oh, I love you. 
Can you teach me how to sign friend? Yes, okay. Friend? Yes. The next sign you said you wanted to teach people was love. Like this. Why did you want to teach people how to sign friend and love? Because it can help people understand like how to be friends or how to talk, talk to deaf people. Like, you know, hey, I love you or hey, do you want to be my friend? She's a strong little girl. Um, so sometimes she has rough days and she is sassy but behind that sass is a very sweet and loving person. She really does care about her friends. Um, she always wants to be good friends with, with everybody. What do you think is the best thing about having a sister? The best thing I think about having a sister is that she's always there whenever I need her. When do you need her? When I have a rough day. How do you help Kendi when she has a rough day? Like I try to help her feel better. And I say, do you want to play? Or you can have some of my gum or candy or something. And I said, you know, you want to play with me, do something? Or try to do things to make her laugh and be silly.